Hello, hello, it's Maria. I'm a reporter here with WW Magazine, here to take you on another magical escape. Happy holidays from Jollywood Nights. A big thank you to Disney for inviting us to check out opening night of Jollywood Nights this holiday season. We are going to see as much as we can, do as much as we can, and hopefully taste as many of the food and beverage offerings as we can here this evening at Jollywood Nights. So without further ado, let's head in. We got Gertie in her Santa hat, the beautiful Christmas trees up. We've got floating ornaments. Hollywood Studios is a full Christmas vibe tonight. Let's take a look at the event exclusive merchandise. Here is the Spirit jersey. It's got the Jollywood Nights mascot, Ollie on it with the year 2024. And that's a look at the back, Disney Jollywood Nights with Ollie on the bottom. Ollie is the king of the merch. He's on the ears as well here. That's a plushy set of ears that he's on as he is made of velvet. Here's a look at the Jollywood Nights lug bags. The thing I love about the lug bags is they're almost like a water resistant material. Stuff kind of beads up and rolls right off them. They're perfect for hot days in the park and they're also convertible. You can put the strap through here. You can wrap them around your belt. They have a shoulder strap and I'm gonna show you the cutest part of the bag. An awesome cast member let me know that the liner is really cute inside too to take a peek inside and she is absolutely right. Check that out in there. Really, really cute liner. Here is the event exclusive mug. This is a really big and really, really heavy mug. So if you enjoy drinking your hot drinks out of a substantial mug, this is definitely it. The cast members at Jollywood have been super helpful tonight. There's a look at the front of the pass holder exclusive shirt. Let's see the back. Oh, there it is with all the characters on it. There is Ollie on the event exclusive pin. You've got the year 2024 up in the corner. This is a limited release pin. So we are here this evening at Jollywood Nights in Disney's Hollywood Studios, and there is so much to get to and so much to talk about with this event. They've made a lot of additions from last year. So if you watched our video last year or if you attended last year, Jollywood Nights is definitely different this year. Let's get things started off with what's not different. The Nightmare Before Christmas show, What's This?, that takes place in the Hyperion Theater, as well as Disney's Holidays in Hollywood shows, both full-scale, full-staged shows, are both the same offerings that Jollywood Nights had last year. And in my opinion, I'm so happy that they brought both of these offerings back. I truly thought they were both fantastic last year. The Nightmare Before Christmas, What's This show, really takes pantomime and brings it back into relevance. Pantomime is kind of a dead art form in a lot of theatrical shows, and I love that they brought it back in such a creative way and also combined such fantastic elements like this massive, gigantic Jack Skeleton puppet that comes out and talks to the audience before the show begins. There's a great, colorful scene with Oogie Boogie, and the whole things to sing along so you're meant to sing along to your favorite nightmare before christmas songs it has a great gothic element as well as an element of fun with the sing-along hello my friends what a wonderful sight let me welcome you all on this fine christmas night now you've heard the old story we all know it well but that's not the story i came here to tell What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. What's this? Mother, you're something. You put me in a spin. You aren't comprehending the position that you're in. It's hopeless. You're finished. You haven't got a prayer. Because I'm Mr. Oogie Boogie. And you ain't going nowhere. And Holidays in Hollywood is the premiere show here at Disney's Jollywood Nights. You've got everyone from Mickey and Minnie in it to Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. Yes, the actual real Muppets appear in Holidays in Hollywood and they are back again this year. There is some really high caliber dancing in this show and fantastic singing. So if you're looking for really high quality entertainment, on stage holidays in hollywood is it and i have to mention that they have an eight piece live band that plays as well during that show it's fantastic i am Kermit the frog here with the fabulous miss piggy <laughs> and we are so honored to be co-hosting this magical musical show for all of you tonight <laughs> Sure. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, but uh, when I think about what the holidays mean to me, it's uh, sharing the magic of the season with the ones we love most. Aww. And that's why you're here with more tonight. new 
additions this year. The Twilight Soiree at the Tip Top Club, which takes place in the courtyard of the Tower of Terror, is back again this year, but not exactly like it was last year. They have enhanced it, in my opinion. They brought on some dancers that kind of started the show off up on the balcony of the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror building, near where the guests would be in the line. So I would imagine if you were queuing for the attraction at that time, you would have been treated to some pretty cool dancing. But then they came down the steps into the courtyard and joined Rachel and the Alley Cats band that were performing there, all 1930s style. They nailed that to a T, from the instrumentation down to the costumes that they're wearing to the style of songs that they are playing they really nailed that 1930s vibe there and I thought the addition of the dancers made this more of a show than it was last year last year it almost felt like kind of a walk by catch a little bit grab a drink from the bar the bar is back again this year by the way they offer several glitter drinks yes there is actually glitter in the drinks that you can get at the tip top club but I thought that the dancing really added a different and more interactive element to it and made the whole thing much more of a show and something that you would be more inclined to stop and watch a lot of the most swinging band in Tinseltown, Rachel and the Alley Cats. the next performance of Glisten to start. Glisten is a brand new offering here at Jollywood Nights this year and features professional ice skaters in front of the Chinese theater. So let's check this out. Part of Jollywood Nights is the food and beverage offerings that are exclusive to this event only. They are all for purchase and I want to go through some of the ones that we picked up here tonight that we thought sounded the most exciting. Most of these are new to Jollywood Nights this year. So starting off with a new item from Baseline Tap House, we got the macaroni and cheese croquettes. These are macaroni and cheese fried croquettes with an aioli dipping sauce that comes on the side and we thought these were really really tasty. They were crispy on the outside. There was definitely a enough cheese in the center to make sure they were not dry because that happens a lot in my opinion with the fried mac and cheese. There were bits of onions in it, there were bits of herbs in it. It was a really really nice balanced bite. The aioli dipping sauce was just that. It was a classic traditional aioli dipping sauce that was definitely mayo based and that was the basis of the flavor but I personally didn't even think that it needed that sauce. I thought it had plenty of flavor and texture to it without it. From the market which is located right near Pixar Place we got the In Holiday Fashion, which is a take on an old fashion. I am a bourbon loving person. I like whiskey based drinks, bourbon based drinks, and this one sounded right up my alley. The beautiful sprig of rosemary in it, as well as a black cherry. And the thing that stuck out to me was it had one of those coveted clear round ice cubes in it, crystal clear. No pigmentation to it whatsoever. Hopefully, whenever you see that, it's a mark of a good drink. 
This was a very, very good drink. It was an old fashioned that just tasted spiced for the holidays. It had some cranberry flavor in it, had a little bit of cinnamon spice flavor to it, and I thought it blended really well with the whiskey. This one was $9, and usually a drink like this in a theme park is a lot more expensive than that, and I really enjoyed it. It's nice to sip along with all of the different foods that I'm trying here today. ABC Commissary is also offering a lot of new holiday dishes during Jollywood nights this season. One important thing to note, I went in and one of the dishes that I got was the new cauliflower taco, which I'll talk about what I thought about that in a minute. But one thing that's interesting to note about Jollywood Nights is that there are absolutely no modifications to any of the dishes. A lot of times when you go to a quick, ser quick service, most times when you go to a quick service at Walt Disney World, you can say, I would like XYZ without this garnish, without this topping, and it's not an issue. It's not the case here at Jollywood Nights. I got the cauliflower taco and asked if I could leave off the chopped onions on top hard no from the cast in there. So if you're liking any of the menu items that you're seeing and thinking, I'll just get it without that, without this, it's not the case to simply modify here at Jollywood Nights just to keep that in mind. I still got the cauliflower taco despite that though. And I was pleasantly surprised because by the look of this cauliflower taco, I'm gonna be honest, it looked very plain. It looked like it was going to be flavorless and it looked dry. And it was none of those three things. The tortilla that it was in, was nicely toasted on the outside. It was nice and soft. You could tell it was fresh. And the cauliflower seemed fried or flash fried to me because it had a really nice moisture to it when I bit into it. And it looked very bland, but it wasn't. And it had a nice crisp on the outside and the flavor from it being fried with the light bit of seasoning that they did put on it was really nice. And I thought that the sauce that they had on this really brought the whole thing together at an extra level of nice juiciness when you bit into it, making sure that it was not dry, it was not at all flavorless. I would definitely get this again, despite the fact that you couldn't modify. And we also got the Taco Bell a holiday cookie from ABC Commissary. This is a really, really cute dessert. This one is a cookie. It is a cookie shape on the outside that they use for the taco shape here in this one. The whole thing is dipped in a white chocolate on the bottom. There is a cheesecake filling to this one as well as like a minty topping with sprinkles on it. So this had a lot going on. And when I bit into it, all I tasted really from it was sweet. It was a very, very sweet, sweet overload dessert with the white chocolate and the cookie and the cheesecake and the mint on top of it. You could taste a little bit of that flavor coming through. If you like sweet and like a really sweet holiday dessert, this is a really cute one and looks really cute and definitely satisfies that sweet tooth. And from Ice Cold Hydraulics, located right across from Baseline Tap House, we got the Duffy Brownie, which is a white chocolate chip cherry infused coca-cola brownie it is a mouthful and it is also massive this was by far the largest thing that we have gotten here tonight at jollywood studios the portion is huge easily shareable between three people especially if you are trying several things here tonight and it is a dense brownie this is a cross between like a brownie and a cake to me and you can definitely taste and feel the texture of those cherries that are in it. I didn't really get a white chocolate forward flavor. I got a chocolate overload flavor of like dark chocolate. And the frosting on the outside, because this was such a dense and thick cakey brownie, I think needed it and really benefited from it. But that whiskey Coca-Cola infused chocolate that was in the center of it, again, gave it an extra layer of just chocolate overload. And I actually could taste a little bit of that Coca-Cola signature profile coming through in that center portion it was really, really fantastic. It was really, really good, really filling, very, very shareable dessert here, and I would get this one again. And of course we had to get the Gertie cookie. She is a sugar cookie, she is buttery, she is fresh, and she's just adorable. bit about Jollywood Nights in and of itself and is this event worth it or something you should consider or what you should take into consideration if you are visiting during the holiday season here at Walt Disney World. I think that the entertainment offerings are superb at this particular event from What's This the Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along 
through to the marquee event of Holidays in Hollywood, through to the brand new offering with Glisten. I really thought that added a great energy and some really, really spectacular skating to the main area in the center there of Jollywood Nights. And I really loved the addition of the dancers to the Tip Top Club this year. Again, I thought that made the whole show experience there a little bit more cohesive and made it feel more like a show than just something you kind of walk by. There are a lot of specialty food offerings at this event. So if you're someone who likes to come and taste your way through a Walt Disney World after hours party or especially ticketed event, there is a lot for you to taste here. We got just a sampling of what is available here at Jollywood Nights. There really is something for every single palette. And throughout the entirety of the park, you can find exclusive food items all night long that you can't get during the day with a regular park ticket. They also have a lot of alcoholic beverages. So if you are somebody who likes to indulge in those every now and then, they have a lot of those here for you to indulge in here at Jollywood Nights too. And the character offerings, I think, speak for themselves. They have so many rare characters here at Jollywood Nights. If you're somebody who likes the characters, this is an event that you definitely should not skip, in my opinion. I really enjoy being in a Disney park during a specially ticketed event. I checked the wait times. It is about 10 o'clock p.m. right now, so we got about two and a half hours left in Jollywood Nights and the wait times were really not that long for any of the attractions. There's so much going on though here at Jollywood Nights. I feel it's really difficult to fit in attractions. So if you're thinking of coming to Jollywood Nights to see the specialty entertainment, to taste the food, to meet the characters, and to ride the attractions, I think that's a little bit ambitious and you might set yourself up for failure just because there is so much on offer here during the regular Jollywood Nights event that the attractions, in my opinion, kind of need to take a back seat to make sure that you can see and do everything that is specific to this particular event. Cost for what you get here at Jollywood Nights, you get the event tickets, the specially ticketed after hour event, including all of the shows, the character meet and greets, everything I just mentioned. Any of the food that you want to get here is all an additional charge. You do get a Wonder Made Marshmallow on your way out this year. Last year they gave out coasters, this year they're giving out a Wonder Made Marshmallow. And this, something to keep in mind, is not like a Mickey's Not So Scary or a Mickey's Very Merry, where they have unlimited candy or cookies and eggnog and apple cider. They don't have any complimentary food offerings that you can collect as you go through the event. So that's something to keep in mind. It is not like a traditional after hours event at Disney where they offer complimentary popcorn or ice cream treats and soda. All of those things you will have to pay for if you do want to try anything here. So keep that in mind. The shows that are put on, the characters that are here are all so unique. And if you're somebody who really likes to visit Walt Disney World, this is an extraordinarily special event. And I'm really glad that they brought it back for a second year. I think it's a great offering here at Hollywood Studios. Tonight's event on opening night is sold out. So it is certainly a popular one, but it doesn't feel overcrowded or oversold here to me. I walked into What's This? It was the first show of the night and I walked in about 14 minutes before the show started. And then I went right from What's This? to Holidays in Hollywood got there with about, again, seven, eight minutes before the show started and had no problem finding a seat. I don't feel like it's oversold. I don't feel like I'm jockeying in a line for any of the food for a really long time. Some of the character lines and the photo pass line, especially for the gyro arm that is a big feature here, can get very long. I checked in on the, the photo pass gyro arm and that was a 50 minute wait estimated when I checked on it. A lot of the characters have significant weights as well. So if those are something that you would like to do, I would say get to the characters first and get to them early and see the shows later as a bit of a way to strategize because it seems like everyone rushed to the shows tonight and now as it's getting later are waiting for those characters so if you want to see those characters I would recommend seeing them first thing when the party starts at 7 30 just to strategize in the best way that you possibly can this year for Jollywood Nights, the party was expanded to five hours. It runs from 7.30 to 12.30 a.m. So they did add some time to the party as well as all of the expanded offerings like the added Fiesta and La Calle singer that they added this year and a larger Latin offerings in terms of food. They've got the Three Caballeros meeting here this year. They've added everything I said earlier about the dancers that they added, the new Glisten show. So there really is a lot going on and a lot of added things here this year at Jollywood Nights. And that is going to do it for me here this evening at Disney's Jollywood Nights. Thank you again to Disney for inviting us out here on opening night to experience it. I had an absolutely awesome time. A reminder that this and all of our videos are brought to you by WDW Magazine. Link is in the video description to subscribe. And I want to know, have you been to Jollywood Nights? Have you, were you here last year? Are you coming this year? Leave us a comment. Let us know. And if you have been or are coming, I want to know what you're most looking forward to and what you most enjoyed about the event. Thanks again for following along. My name is Maria and I will see you in the next Magical Escape. Are you even a true Disney fan if you don't have a WDW Magazine subscription? Don't just fly. Soar over to our website and subscribe to our award-winning Disney Magazine.